Yo, what's up guys? So a lot of people have been leaving a comment down below, like how do I get my protein, where's the protein sources, and uh, what I eat in a day video. And I don't understand how people are asking that question because it's right in your face. All these quinoa, chickpeas, lentils, black beans, all these foods have proteins. But today I'm gonna show you, we're, we're gonna go something like grocery shopping. I'm just gonna go to all these places where I get all the protein foods that are vegan, plant-based basically. Stay tuned and please hit that, hit that subscribe button if y'all want more videos, all right? Yeah. Oh. Sensu. Man. Cartel. Goku Pong. Goku Pong. Yeah. Back at it, guys. So we're at Sony House Foods. Um, we sell a lot of like West Indian products, and I'm about to show you guys some protein foods for vegan. That they got in there man all right guys so what we have here is admirate um very good source of plant-based protein seven grams of protein another one we have here is azuki beans 23 grams of protein another one is chickpeas y'all see it nine grams of protein man plant-based Red lentils and green lentils, 12 grams of protein. And heritage beans, 12 grams of protein, as you can see. And we got oatmeal, instant oatmeal, which is 5 grams of protein. Alright, so we're in Target right now. First thing I'm going to recommend is the almond and cashew milk. 10 grams of protein. And we got the... Ripple milk. I usually get the vanilla flavor, but it's sold out. People are like actually starting to find out about this brand. So um, I recommend the vanilla flavor. It tastes better, but eight grams of protein. And they got different flavors too, the chocolate. But I still recommend the vanilla flavor. So it's a vegan ice cream right here, very free. Made out of peanut butter, basically. Um, right here, it has eight grams of protein. It's not the healthiest thing, but it's what I have on a cheat day. Y'all looking for something quick to just warm in a microwave and cook up? Have it ready made. Black lentils right here. Black beluga lentils. 21 grams of protein. You see that? You also got the quinoa. The garlic quinoa, just the regular quinoa too. Eight grams of protein. The one that's mixed with the garlic, got nine grams of protein. You also got the brown rice. To get your complete protein, if you mix the, the brown rice with the quinoa, you'll have your complete protein. So right here, the brown rice, six grams of protein. So you're better off having the, the brown rice than the white rice, but you could still eat the, the white rice if you want. We're at another grocery store. Um, I literally forgot the name of this grocery store, but I'll put it on the screen. We have raw peanuts, salted peanuts, roasted peanuts. I see it. All all nuts. Pause. Pause. But um, these are good sources of protein and healthy fats. So we have pumpkins here. Most of these proteins are nine grams of proteins, eight to nine grams of proteins. Peanuts and pumpkin seeds. So cashews, I'll say like around five to six grams. Cashews and um, the pecans. Sunflower seeds are also good. About nine grams of proteins. Almonds too, I'll say seven, seven grams to nine grams. Pistachios too are good, nine grams of protein. What we got here, an alternative for yogurt, you know? And what I'm gonna show you guys soon is an alternative for me. 
being on a plant-based diet, it's like when you keep eating the same thing all over and over, it gets boring. Of course, you know, you, you get the proteins from the, the lentils, the quinoa, the chickpeas, the black beans, and you know, we have to eat them together. We have to like eat them in varieties to get that complete protein because all these like protein foods don't have all the amino acids. So you have to eat them together to have the complete protein. Meats have the complete protein because they have all the amino acids. What I'm basically saying is you wanna just have different types of food in, in different varieties. Like almonds, you wanna eat them like natural nuts and I'm not saying this is not natural, but you have the almond milk that you could, the almond milk yogurt that you could eat instead of eating the, the dairy yogurt, you know? Just so like you don't get bored off of being on a plant-based diet. All right guys, like I was saying before, you don't want to get bored off of being on a plant-based diet. So just in case you like miss eating meat, you have the meatless plant-based stuff. Right here is the Alpha Nuggets. It tastes hella good. I'm telling you, this stuff tastes literally tastes like chicken. So you're not missing out. Right here, 13 grams of protein. You know, it's made out of soy protein. You want to be careful with this stuff too, man. There, are most of these meats, like vegan meats are kind of high in sodium, so just want to be a little careful, not like doing it too much. Ooh. All right guys, so right here we got the plant-based protein burgers, you know, made out of black beans and peas, you know, also beets. I see that, 19 grams of protein. Just in case you miss having burgers. And it, it tastes like burgers, best for me. Right here too. I think it's the same one I picked up, but the veggie burgers. Five grams of protein, not too bad. Here's another plant-based burger. 28 grams of protein. Last one. Well, not the last one. 28 grams of protein made out of black beans, too. Y'all see it? Well, mostly peas, but. Yeah, guys, that's your plant based protein, like meat stuff. If you do get bored showing you guys some more meatless options full plant base you know sausage right here nine grams of protein the other one is 11 grams um, the day right here I've definitely had these in the past this tastes hella good eight grams of protein you know good burrito I've had this too I've tried this one the sausage eight grams of protein definitely I've had this one before my child's mom cooked it for me this one the, i haven't had i'm actually getting it for the first time but you guys could try it out if you want um yeah guys just a lot of you know meatless protein sauces you know just in case you get tired of you know regular plants you know these are healthier than eating real meat you know they're lower in saturated fats. One more thing I forgot to mention was hemp seeds. Um, definitely not something meatless, but good source of protein and omega threes. Definitely want to have these, and um, it's also very low in soy lentine, so it's definitely one of the best. I recommend it for you to guys for you guys to add to whatever you're eating on a daily basis. Some more varieties of nuts. <laughs> Pause, but here we got <laughs> sunflower butter, seven grams of protein, peanut butter, eight grams of protein, um, cashew butter, 
four grams, not that much, but you know, still good for healthy fats. And almond butter, you know, think about seven grams of protein. These are all good sources and different varieties. All right, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that share button. Leave a comment below, guys. Let us know what video you guys want us to post next. <laughs> this world is run by corporations that need your cooperation in order for the operation to continue operating. It's new slaves and new plantations. In order to capitalize, they gotta respect you and speak your name like it's capitalized. They say it's run by the Illuminati and they follow the capital I. But we just still trying to get some capital. Why? There's certain things that I can't grasp to understand. Like how it stopped being hand and turn to hand over hand. This shit is heavy like shit that went down and had no in the levees. 